There is a man who lies with a male, as those who lie with a woman. Both of them have committed a detestable act. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood guiltiness is upon them. Leviticus 20.13 Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals. 1 Corinthians 6 9. I will not shop at Target again. I will let the pillow bite a minority shop there. Thanks, Target. So done shopping at Target. They are totally forgetting about those of us who oppose gay marriage and are so held to strong Christian beliefs. I, for one, will not support gay marriage. God did not support it either. I guess it's fine for those folk who make a choice, but it's fine for me to decide to stop shopping at a store that stands for something I do not believe in. I hope more of my Christian friends will follow my lead and take their shopping elsewhere. The third sex types of people have to realize that the majority of normal people want to continue traditional family values and all that. I don't know if the third sex types realize that they can't procreate normalness and all that stuff. My research has shown time and time again there is no such thing as a third sex. Even the Journal of American Medicine cannot provide evidence of a third sex and all that and stuff. Maybe the weird types are from an extraterrestrial body or something like that and stuff. My studies and logic are far beyond those that can't comprehend normal thinking and stuff. And stuff. Threw away my Target card and won't buy there. They retracted after telling employees not to say Merry Christmas. Not smart to take off Christians whom are the majority in this country. My church has over 1,200 members. Target Starbucks will be mentioned in the congregation as places that are not friendly to Christians and not to shop there. Penn State is an example of abuse and why this sick crap cannot be accepted. Some coaches said they didn't come forward as they didn't want to be called homophobic. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother, and shall be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Genesis 2.24 Every gay or lesbian had one father and one mother who created them. It doesn't matter if you were adopted or came from a sperm bank. The way God designed us to have children is the way it is today. Christians do not attack gay or lesbian people, but instead Christians tell the truth which God has provided in his word. Because because I am a Christian and believe different, I am discriminated against. Stop the hate of Christians who tolerate the views of gays and lesbians but will not agree with them. I recoil at this image and have to avert my eyes. It is not natural and I don't want my children seeing such a message. The TV is inundated with this awful message. It is against God. Now I have yet another store to boycott. Here is why. Sodomy is sinful. Loving someone is not the sin, but the act itself is. Human genome mapping has been completed and there is no gay gene. It is not a physical disorder, but a mental disorder centered on lust, damaged childhood, lack of good father figure, childhood sexual abuse, pornography, or lax values, and pushing the envelope and estrogen in the water supply. Reduced levels of testosterone and altered hormones. Why isn't the avenue of a medical disorder being pursued and then treated with hormone therapy or counseling or whatever else is at fault? If someone truly loves another, then they would not want to damage their souls doing something that God condemns. There are many disordered lusts being thrust into secular society today. Sodomy, as a sin, is also condemned in heterosexual couples. It is a pathway to disease and separation from God. Jesus' first miracle was performed at a wedding between a man and a woman. Therefore, God sanctions traditional marriage. People do not fall into secular relativism. 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 Yeah. Everyone is not acceptable, even if the majority wants it. Self-gratification is something opposite to what Jesus gave. It is sacrifice. It is not too late to turn to God ever. He will help all overcome distorted sexual desires. God bless! I am for traditional marriage. If Target is supporting homosexual marriage, I will not visit the store anymore. Boycott! I have shared this article and I am boycotting it. Yes, and Target just recently decided to expand into Canada and brought up Zellers. I like Zellers, but I'm not going back. I'm done. Where is Kmart when you really need them? It's too bad that Zellers will be replaced by this disgraceful store chain. <sighs> 
May I suggest a natural argument for same-sex acts and so-called marriage between two persons of the same sex? The basis is the parts do not fit. This applies to the psychological, emotional, and spiritual aspects, three areas in which a man and a woman do fit. This is why a child needs a father and a mother, so that he or she can experience complete normal development under the fullness of masculine and feminine characteristics. The other facet is the physical dimension. The sexual genitive parts of the male and female bodies do fit. They are meant for each other like a lock and key, and this fit is in accord with nature. This natural fit also follows a natural purpose, namely the generation of a human life. The sexual generative parts of two males or of two females do not fit and do not fulfill the natural purpose of generating human life. I am no longer shopping at Target. I haven't been back to that store since they started with the gay attire and the support of gay marriage. Lost another customer, they did. Have they not seen what this type of thing did to JC Penny? Oh, duh. That's jolly good, Target. If that's your stance, then I'll have mine too. And you are not getting a cent from me. JC Penny, Amazon, Nike, Microsoft, Nestle, Target, Starbucks. The list of businesses to boycott is certainly growing. And the good thing is that we may become most saner and healthier without most of their products. And start patronizing the deserving underdogs as well. Do not forget to add Home Depot to the list. Boycott! You are missing more than a few businesses there. For example, No More Disneyland, Office Depot, Kraft, Apple, Microsoft, to name a few. And if you are commenting using Discus, you are supporting a company that supports same-sex marriage and provides health coverage that includes birth control vasectomies and abortions. Oops! We will boycott all we can. Then, as they confirm to the majority, the remaining few companies will comply. It comes down to money and shareholders in the end, and shareholders will have a voice when they see the company tanking. It may be time for us, but God is not confined by time. He is eternal, and he wins. Is there a time for businesses that commit economic suicide by endorsing this kind of thing? Maybe pervicide or something? The laws of demographics and morality are not on their side. The less we spend at these places, the more we can spend at Chick-fil-A. Yeah! Eat more chicken! All the members of my extended family have stopped shopping at Target, Starbucks, and quit purchasing General Mills products. Target and General Mills got their start in Minnesota as long as they decide to support the perversion of the sacrament of marriage, they do not deserve my business. We can pray they go the way of J.C. Penney's. Those who think Jesus is just a really nice guy who thinks sex outside of marriage, homosexual sex, divorce, abortion, etc. are okay, do not know Jesus Christ or his word. They certainly do not know what it is to be a follower of Christ. It is the duty of a follower of Christ to instruct the ignorant and admonish the sinner. That is isn't judgment. Judgment will be reserved for Christ. Attempting to help souls come to Jesus before their judgment day is what Christians are to do. May God have mercy on those who promote such serious sin. There will be a judgment. I went shop at Target. Period. I am no longer Target clients. I suppose next they'll feature back-to-school sales ads with boys wearing skirts and dresses. The whole country has turned upside down. It is sad to see so many people clinging to deception and rejecting truth. It brings Romans 128 to mind. May God open their hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. I respect freedom. If this is how Target wants to use their freedom, then I will note in public that it opposes what I believe is rational and in accord with basic natural law precepts. I will vote with my purse and never again spend a penny at Target until they revoke their endorsement of homosexual agendas. Mary, the next Target is your kids. Homosexuality dies if they have no one to recruit or convince that it's okay to do. Target just lost a big group of pff, customers. Me and my large family and long list of friends. I five years this homo lover's co will go under mark my word. Sad that one cannot disagree, i.e. have a differing opinion without being falsely accused by hating homosexuals or fearing homosexuals. Why do they put the focus on how people feel about them rather than the action activity that they choose to pursue? They not only want parody, they want superior. Shows you the real bigotry of the liberal left, not to mention their emotional maturity. Ah. Disgusting and wrong. 
I don't want my children seeing something like this. I will no longer be shopping at Target. <sighs> the good news for Target is they'll get future revenue from all the children these gay marriages produce. Oops. To be fair, there are a lot of gay couples with kids. Sex isn't the only way to have kids nowadays. People, even heterosexual couples, make use of adoption, surrogacy, and sperm donors. Yes, Life of Pi, that's true. It's also possible to steal from the natural and support the unnatural for a while, but it's neither moral nor good social policy. I'm boycotting them. I emailed Target about the gay cards and they never so much as responded, so obviously they don't value me as a customer. So I'm out. I'll spend my dollars elsewhere. I have gay friends who are boycotting Chick-fil-A and I respect that. I get it. But I'm done buying things for my children conceived in a traditional marriage at a store that denigrates it. I have stopped shopping at Target. Amtrak has a new gay ad campaign featuring gay couples and children. Although I ride Amtrak frequently, I will never ride an Amtrak train again! It is one thing for a worldly institution to market their stuff to people who belong in the world. Hispanics, moms, deaf, old, homosexual. Target ain't the church and we can't expect institution in love with the world to love the world of God. The stores do cross the line, IMO, when they fund radical groups which exist to destroy the fabric and culture of the society upon which the store was built. By sending profits to the Family Equality Council, Target went from simply selling stuff to funding their own destruction. And this will harm lots of people as it will embolden the abandonment of all pretense of mortality. Morality. <laughs> That's the end of me buying anything at Target. When will you stop using your computer, seeing as how both Microsoft and Apple support same-sex marriage? Disgusting! I won't spend my money there! No more shopping at Target! Derek. I will not shop at Target, J.C. Penny, or drink coffee at Starbucks. Marriage is a holy sacrament given to us by Christ himself. These businesses are blaspheming my religion. I hope all Christians will shop elsewhere. Your entire state is blaspheming your religion. Following your logic, maybe you should leave the state. <coughs> Please get the facts about the Girl Scouts who partner with Planned Parenthood and promote the sexualization of our youth. Their journey program books lead girls to porn and send them to media matters and ask them to consider if they are a girl with a different sexual identity. What? Please be a role model. The Boy Scouts will not partner with the GS because they are not clean. Check out the AHG Scout program and have the courage to be a role model. Not easy, just necessary. It's for our kids and we can and must do better. Be a disciple and spread the word. This is a mission many are called to. Pray that the Catholic Church does not give this filthy group a pass. I am a 68-year-old lifetime member and I can tell you that we have been betrayed. He who owns our youth owns our country. All girls are members of Obama's youth corps with an agreement with Napolitano and the GS rep. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Individual troops are most likely clean and not using the filthy program material, but their registration fees and cookie sales go to this filthy group. We can and must make a difference. First J.C. Penny, not Target. New slogan! Target greasing the skins to hellfire damnation with a smile! This is our fault. We have shopped there for years, but I have seen the error of my ways. I will never set foot in Target again. We have a Target store here in Battle Creek, Michigan, don't you know? Hopefully for the economy, it can survive the businesses from the gay community, because it will never again see me coming into that store, and I believe it will slowly dwindle away the Christian community. But just like Chick-fil-A has a right to open a shop in a pro-gay community, so does Target have the right to open a pro-gay shop in a Christian community. We don't make death threats, we just take our business elsewhere. It seems the pro-gay community exhibits hates and posts hateful messages, and then calls the Christians the hate group. The Christian community exhibits love and non-threatening messages, but we don't call the pro-gay the love group. Go figure. That was a terrible Michigan accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> Onanism. Onanism? And gay marriages and artificial contraception all have a common thread, and that is to frustrate or prevent the creation of a life in the gift of coitus as given by the Lord.
Guess this guy will be taking a minute tonight to exercise my First Amendment right and letting Target Corps know that they will never get another penny of mine as long as they hold this position. Is that hateful or just freedom? BT dubs, there's a template if you agree and want to copy and paste. Dear sirs, I am respectfully letting you know that since seeing plans of your new ad promoting a homosexual lifestyle, I will be taking my shopping dollar sign dollar signs elsewhere. It is my belief that promoting the homosexual lifestyle is harmful to my family. I respect your right as a business, but see this move as a step in the wrong direction. Sincerely, Target, what an apt name. Ready on the fire line, Target. <laughs> Has the Target management lost their minds? I won't ever shop in Target again! I'm looking for a new shopping Target now! You've just lost my business, Target. Mine too! No more Target for our family. My husband and I have traditional values. We are not pleased, W slash this. Then you are already married. Good for you! Letting others marry shouldn't affect your marriage in any way. Have a good day. It might not affect Sammy's marriage, but it does offend Sammy's God. The same God who made you and Sammy and everyone else in the world. To support it would go against her God. I'm not speaking for Sammy, mind you, just pointing out the opposing point of view. <laughs> Looks like Target and JC Penny are in a love triangle with bankruptcy. <laughs> It seems like Target has caved in and let the liberal gays control them. Shameful. Philip Radovansky likes this. Well, Target dropped the ball and allowed the bullies to win them out. I do not shop there anymore. This is ridiculous! I stand behind Fan Eval and his decision to support Emmer. It just makes me so angry to see how leftists can do and support whomever they want, Planned Parenthood, with no repercussions, yet they're outraged when rightists do the same. Stop trying to crucify anyone who shows even the slightest trace of morality. Contrary to what the media tries to depict, America is not a leftist nation. As a young right is dying and many many others will see to it that we don't lose morality and our god-given rights even if we must be a thorn in the leftist side that <laughs> shame on target this is absurd Ugh. f yeah wow target <laughs> Can't a wedding registry just be a plain old wedding registry? I don't think Paul Dobbs, the original picture of a bride and groom, it just is a political correctness that's being rammed down our throats. I don't care either way about gay marriage, but this picture makes me feel like traditional marriages are not okay now, and then we were so impressed to see a kind of gay marriage. You are allowed to have an opinion about getting married unless you agree with that. <coughs> I think it's just great that the gay community is showing everyone exactly what they are about. Me! 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 I think the United States people have been bullied by the queer community in trying to get everyone to believe what they believe. And I use queer because I'm taking my gay word back, which means a happy, joyful, etc. I don't hate any life a person think decides to live is up to them. And it is obvious the homosexuals can't tolerate anyone living thinking their lifestyle is wrong. Kind of like how Hitler had his party going. <gasps> you believe what I believe I do it! Sorry, this is America! At least for now it is. And I do not hate gay people. People should be able to live and believe what they want to believe. Not when someone tries to force them to believe. And they wouldn't boycott anyone for their beliefs. So why don't you guys boycott kids' clothes, this? I mean, there had to be a man and a woman who helped make the kids. Or boycott the maternity wards at the hospitals. Because that they are doing is delaying products from all our soldiers. Gay marriage is wrong! And that's my view on it. <clears throat> Whew. 
I'm going to eat at Chick-fil-A on the way home and throw my trash where it belongs in the parking lot of the Target next door. Mm -mm -mm. The moral decline of America. <laughs> oh, the photo is so Target, you are nailing your own coffin shot. Plenty of other places to shop. You will lose business. If you expect gays to support you, guess again. <laughs> I guess merchants truly will do anything for a buck. Okay, Emma Satin, you got your daily dose of gay propaganda in. Shame on Target. Shame on the administration. Shame on any gay-loving mayors. And shame on Americans who publicly support all this gay nonsense. I wonder why, since there is only approximately 7% of Americans who are gay, get 93% of the publicity. Whatever happened to the majority rules? If people want to be gay, then let them be gay, without publicity, and without all the fanfare and the support of politicians who need to stick to trying to make America a better, safer, more prosperous place, not a gayer place. This is a slap in the face to marriage the way God intended it to be. Man and woman, period. End of story. Enough is enough. Shut up about being gay, flaunting your gayness in people's faces, wanting to be gay or supporting gays. Oh yeah, a note to all of you gay men. Have you ever heard of AIDS? If you get it, you deserve it, and don't you dare ask us normal people to bail you out. The fact that this applies to 2% of the population, why is the media trying to cram this down our throats? Every opportunity to raise this issue is taken. Our country is headed in the wrong direction and the media is promoting this like the majority of the population is for it. Hello? Okay, and the fact that they had to add the gay word makes anything better? The waiting registry is what it is. Why do you have to throw that word in there too? How stupid. Like it catches anyone's eye any better. I'm personally tired of homosexuality being rammed down my throat, and that of the children. We can't buy a simple piece of chicken without having this hoo-ha being on the top of the agenda. I don't normally dine at Chick-fil-A, but I will make a point of it now. We need to change our reference to gays. Gay is a word for happy. These people are not happy. They want to boycott everyone who disagrees with their lifestyle, and they call everyone else bigots and prejudice and homophobes. They are heterophobes. Homo men should be referred to as dods, dudes on dudes. Lesbians should be referred to as gogs, girls on girls. The gay symbol of a rainbow is wrong too. The rainbow is meant for something other than dods and gogs. The gay symbol should be KY, white and brown smudges. Then let us all get our language back and use gay and queer as the proper word they were meant to be. Target can have all the dods and gogs. They all stand around blowing kisses to each other and touching each other. It's the grossest thing to see the clerks of Target all trying to put the make on each other. Yeah, I want my family shopping there. I boycott Target! One more reason not to shop at Target. This is fucking unbelievable. I do have a Target charge card, which I will now pay off and never use again. Why can't this gay thing just be left alone and not brought to the forefront? I have gay friends and they don't discuss their sexual feelings. Enough is enough. Too bad for you, Target. I am now finished using your store. I will, however, continue to pray for your weak leadership that it may change soon. I tolerate gays and lesbians, but I do not condone it, and no amount of ad revenue controversial articles posted about gays and lesbians by MSN will ever change my mind. I have nothing to do with Target anymore. I only hope that the shoppers that do go there rehearse what they are going to tell their children when asked about the issue or the registry. Sick. Real sick. Ugh, get back in the closet. Sounds like Target is confused about its sexuality. Probably bisexual. Gay apostrophe S represent less than point zero 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 one percent of the population except in california yet moan the loudest for their cause they get their perverted pride parade every year the annual dykes on bikes motorcycle rally draws a crowd of freaks from all over the country they even have a gay rodeo where the queers can mount their favorite same-sex animal for a little public bucking we all know what their target is no if apostrophe s ands or but apostrophe s about it. The blanks demand the majority of people who still believe in family values to condone their behavior. I'd tell them to shove it, but that's what they enjoy most.
It's the left who keeps pushing its left-wing liberal agenda on the rest of us. We don't care, just stop pushing it in our faces. It will never be widely accepted, so just accept the gays are not the normal, never will be, and if it is, kiss humans goodbye, cause they can't reproduce. That's one fact that the left can't argue. Oh, and it's nasty and disgusting. That picture makes me want to puke. Yuck! Disgusting. We'll not go there either. MSN, when you're not pushing the gay agenda, you're putting up crap about Romney. We all know you are gay, we all know you are Obamanites. And the only reason I say around is to bait and piss off the gays and the hardcore Democrats. Stay tuned! For the uninformed who think that homosexuality was banned in only the Old Testament, in Leviticus, take a seat, I have news for you. The Apostle Paul, whom Jesus appointed, goes into great detail in Romans and Corinthians about it. It is condemned, big time. Research it. But putting the Bible aside, do not our own sensibilities and consciences tell us it is repugnant? If not, we are deep in the low sink of debauchery. Oh, and the fattest seconds may. Okay, you put up the gaze, now be fair and put up a picture of Christ, and maybe a verse or two considering men treating other men as a female. No? Okay, how about a verse or two on women treating other women as a man? Let's be fair and look at this from the Bible's point of view. After all, if God does exist, what can it hurt? Now, four days in a row, you need your lesson for the day. The poop shoot is not for gerbils, door knobs, golf clubs, bottles, beads, hamsters, soda cans, baseball bats, or wankers. It's for poop. I think the gays can shop with them all they want. I sure won't. <coughs> Target can float that in their pink petal pushers. It's a pink petal pusher. It is suck! No wonder our country no longer resembles what it is meant to be. I am tired of all the gay crap, even if people feel those who don't agree with it are bigots, etc. If you don't want the Bible quoted to you as a guide, then just go back into world history and look at the countries who fell into bondage. If someone doesn't like my stance, then I want them to know that I don't care. It's awful. I have spoken. GF. Bad in all respects. I just saw your ad, and I will never be able to spend money at your store again. One man, one woman, for life. Thus saith the Lord.